Hi guys, today we will be learning about Oatner syndrome. So Oatner syndrome occurs when the conduction of the left recurrent laryngeal nerve is blocked by some sort of physical obstruction, most likely due to a cardiovascular cause. The left recurrent laryngeal nerve is a branch of the vagus nerve. The left recurrent laryngeal nerve obstruction occurs most likely due to left atrial enlargement which causes an obstruction a physical obstruction as you can see and causes decreased or stops the con conduction of the nerve so the left recurrent laryngeal nerve supplies all the muscles of the larynx it's common the most common cause of left atrial dilatation is mitral stenosis mitral stenosis occurs when the valve Cystinose, that means less blood can flow to the ventricle than usual. This causes more blood to stay in the atrium and it enlarges the atrium. This atrial enlargement, as you can see, can block the conduction, can physically block the left recurrent laryngeal nerve and cause its palsy. Other causes of uh, left recurrent laryngeal nerve obstruction is are aortic aneurysm pulmonary artery enlargement, pulmonary hypertension, and congenital causes like atrial septal defect, patent ductus arteriosus, and other causes. The most common symptom of Ortner syndrome is hoarseness. This is because the left recurrent laryngeal nerve supplies to the muscles of the larynx. So when it is obstructed, you will obviously get the symptoms of impairment of the muscles of the larynx. Other symptoms that you will find on your exam are dyspnea, osteopnea, cough, chest pain and peripheral edema which are also causes of oh, sorry symptoms of mitral stenosis induced left aorta or left aorta dilatation. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel.